fourth season on College Hill, Lafayette coach Diane Nolan will look to improve upon an 11-19 and season that culminated with an overtime loss in the Patriot League quarterfinals to the eventual three-time champions. The Leopards return all five starters from last season, and they have a fresh, new-look Kirby Sports Center to play in. And Coach Nolan joins us now via Skype to talk about it. Hi, Coach. How are you? I'm terrific, Melanie. Good to be here. So I mentioned you have five starters returning from last season. Can you talk about how that continuity will help for 2013? Oh, absolutely. You know, we, we have five good players who uh, understand the system. They know how we want to play. They have familiarity with the league. And they really worked hard over the summer to improve their individual games. So it really gives us a leg up when we started uh, two days ago. Emily Homan and Danielle Fiaco certainly make up the tallest front court in the Patriot League. Now that they're both upperclassmen, do you think we'll see their best seasons yet? Oh, absolutely. You know, Danielle knows that this is her final season and she has some unfinished business. So she really is uh, concentrating on uh, really improving around the rim and, and really getting some things done out there. Uh, Emily, the same way, came back stronger, uh, worked a lot in the weight room over the summer. And the two of them uh, certainly have some lofty goals for the year. And Jamie O'Hare did some great things as a freshman last season, dishing out 73 assists. What can we expect to see from her now that she has a year of collegiate experience under her belt? Well, we're going to utilize Jamie Moore as a scorer this year. You're right, she did uh, distribute the ball nicely last year, but we really need her firepower. So we're going to be uh, moving Jamie a little bit more to a scoring guard instead of a distributing one. So we're, we're going to expect some good things from her. So then in place of her, who do you see at point guard this season? Uh, we'll use, uh, uh, we call her Peanut. Maddie Peabody and Brea Freeland. So those two will, will command our point positions. So we know that you're not afraid to play freshmen. Are there any potential newcomers who can make some noise for you this season? Uh, um, yes, uh, most definitely. Uh, all four of them are looking to be uh, some really strong contributors. Uh, Harriet uh, will uh, play some five for us. She is also uh, plays very much in the way uh, Emily Homan plays. She's about 6'3", very long, uh, very uh, has a face-up and a back-to-the-basket move. Uh, Jayla Waller is a, a quick guard uh, who will give us some added depth uh, in, in our transition game. Uh, Maya Hood is a uh, player that played a lot like one of our former players, Keisha Wright, where she can play a 2 3 Four position and Ashley Lutz uh, from uh, Massachusetts is a, a face up three four and gives us uh, some good three point shooting. So w we will look to to play all four freshmen uh, some quality minutes. You're entering your fourth year at Lafayette. Can you talk a little bit about the last three years and what it's been like taking over the Lafayette program after spending 28 years at Fairfield? Well, uh, it was a uh, certainly a challenge. You know, uh, coming into uh, a program that um, was really transitioning into uh, the league as a scholarship program. And we had to change uh, the culture a little bit as far as uh, being upgrading uh, all of our uh, thought processes and our, our commitment to uh, getting, getting into the uh, top part of the league. Um, I really feel good about our, our progress and really excited for the year. Um, you know, we've gone through some growing pains, but we now know uh, the players now know my system. They know exactly what we want, and uh, they've had some taste of success and are really uh, committed on, on on getting up to that you know that top uh, of the league. So you now, after three years of learning uh, a lot uh, uh, how things work here at Lafayette through the league. Uh, I, I feel very comfortable of where we are and excited about where we're going. Now, have they finally taken down the yellow construction tape and let you into the newly renovated Kirby Sports Center? They have, Melanie, and it is awesome. It, it exceeded our expectations. Uh, and the Hoosier gym is no longer. You know, I, we now have a wonderful chair back seating uh, along the sidelines, a new floor, uh, new logos on the floor, uh, the new bleachers on the end lines for our, our student body. It's painted. It, it has a whole new look. Uh, it really is. A, it's really going to be an exciting place to play. What do you think that's going to do for the future of your program? Oh, it, it, it will help us enormously. You know, we have a very solid fan base uh, with our students, our community, and our, our friends. And, and this is really going to entice them to, to get to the games rather than sit home and, and watch it on a couch. They now have a comfortable seat uh, in the arena. So I, I think it's really going to give us a, a major boost to our program. And it's got to make you excited, too, a little bit, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you walk in there and you smile. 
you know, the, the jumbotron, the, the, you, you see, uh, you know, all, and you know that you can pack the place. And I don't think there's anything more uh, exciting than playing to a, a full house. And that's what we want to do. Okay, well, Coach, thanks so much for chatting with me. Good luck this season. All right, thank you. And again, welcome to the league, and I, I love that blouse. <laughs> thanks.